Hello everyone, welcome back to TGR, that's Gaming Robbo. Today we are doing Championship Manager 0102, 150 years into the future. Now this is something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. Wanted to go further than 100 years and what the last video was. So we're going to see what has happened on Championship Manager 0102 for the past 150 years. So without further ado guys, let's get cracking. Let's start it right now. So first of all, for me, I want to see who is exactly in the Conference League of the English League. So if there is any big names, we're going to have a look at them straight away. First of all, Leicester City. Leicester City are in the Conference League. I'm going to see if let's go through the history quickly. So I want to have a look at quite a fair few teams uh, for this. So that's the stats, history. So landmarks, competition, domestic honours. Okay, so. Wow, they've been in this league for nearly 40 years. So let's see who else is in here. Millwall, another team. Another big team, they've only been here for just under a decade or so. Is there any other big names? No, there isn't any other big names in the Conference League. So we're going to have a look and see who's in Division 3. Before we do that, let's have a look at the history. <laughs> Manchester United. They won the Conference League two seasons ago. QPR. Stockport, Stoke, Swansea. Any other names? Man City, Barnsley. God, a few big names have won it, but let's see who else. Little names have done uh, any wonders. Hucknall. Oh, they're no longer in the league anymore. Okay, so we're going to have a look at Division 3. Obviously, we know Manchester United is in there. Blackburn, Blackpool, Cardiff, Chelsea, Derby. Merthyr Tidville's in here and more green. Very small teams. Torquay United are still in Division 3. Can't keep us away. West Ham and Sunderland are in Division 3 also. Let's have a look at their uh, domestic league. So for the past 15 years, they've been bouncing between second, first, second, third, second, now third division. Again, Blackpool, um, Blackburn have Blackpool. It's the first time they've been out of the uh, conference league for quite some time, 30 years. God, that's a long old haul, isn't it? Cardiff City. Well, it's been a bit of a tough old road for them as well, hasn't it? Chelsea. Chelsea, this has got to be a... When was the last time they were in the Premier League? 27 years ago. <coughs> Derby County. Yeah, see, they're bouncing in between leagues as well. When was the last time they were in the Premier League? Nearly 40 years ago. All right, let's do it. Let's have a look at their uh, domestic league. So, wow, they've been in the Conference League for a long time. Not just the one spell either. Three spells and four spells in the Conference League. Wow, so it's only letting me go back to 2059-60 season. So throughout nearly 100 years, as you can see, Manchester United have not been in the Premier League. That's a big thing. Nottingham Forest, I didn't see their name earlier. So they were in the Premier League not so long back. But once again, they're bouncing in between these leagues now. Sunderland. 
after they were in the Premier League 20 odd years ago. Let's have a look at my team, Torquay United. Well, we've won the Division 3 a couple of times. Came runners up in Division 2. So that means Torquay were in Division 1. No! And got relegated straight away in the season after. Hey ho. No! Sorry. Torquay United, my team, were in the Premier League. Wow, we won the first division. It says here. Didn't show that on the uh, on the records. Sixteenth, seventh, ninth, eleventh, twentieth, and never looked back since. That didn't say that they won. Go back to talking. It didn't say that they won the first division. Oh yes, it did. I'm blind. Okay, let's have a look at West Ham. We'll look through the uh, winners' history. Then we'll have a look at Division 2. But West Ham, yeah. It's been a long time for them as well. Nearly as bad as Manchester United. Okay, so let's have a look at the history. So QPR, Salisbury, Frickley Athletic. They've won Division 3. Boston United, Man City, God, Fisher Athletic, London, sorry, Kings Lynn, Burrs Co, God, and Altrincham. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the second division. Go back this way. Don't want any previews. So let's see who's in Division 2 at the moment. So we've got the likes of Brentford, Charlton, Coventry, Dover Athletic, Fisher, Frickley, Kingsland still there. Northwich, Victoria, Portsmouth, QPR. Watford, Yeovil. I mean, there, I mean, there's a couple of big names. It's more, more than anything else. Is the littler team to come in through to uh, to these uh, to this league here. I'm quite interested to see their uh, domestic history. Uh, do, 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 competitions, domestic league. So they were and they have won the Premier League before. What? Look at that. So they won the Premier League, they played 38 games, 21, 13 draws, 5 losses, scored 39 goals. And they won the Premier League by scoring 39 goals. Wow. And conceding 18. Wow, it must be low scoring games now. Must be low scoring games. Let's have a look at Southampton. I see they were, they were runners up in the Champions League. So they were they were in the Premier League just over a decade ago. And now they're in Division 2. God, look at that. God. Alright, so let's look at their history. The past winners, so uh, any any big surprises here? Tottenham Hotspurs, that's a nice surprise there. Sutton United, they've won Division 2. Sutton United again, Dover obviously. Altrincham. Dulwich, Dulwich Hamlet, and they're in the Premier League. God! Emily, they're in the conference now, but uh, they won Division 2 nearly 32 years ago. Frickly, Sutton, yeah, so it does look like that uh, a lot of the lower league teams are up now, obviously. So we're going to have a look at uh, the first division now. Have a look through here, so Arsenal and Villa. Two names I see straight away. That's in the first division of uh, the English leagues. 
Hampton and Richmond. Uh, Harrow Borough, Huddersfield Hyde United. Liverpool's down here, Margate, Salisbury. Good God. Oh, and let's have a look at Arsenal. Their history. Competitions, isn't it? Domestic leagues. Okay, so they were relegated from Premier League six seasons ago. They were in there for one season. God, so they're one of the longest that they they stayed in the Premier League long a lot longer. God, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Arsenal been there throughout that whole time. Amazing those. Villa. Let's have a look at Villa. Oh, they've only just been relegated from the Premier League. That's a shame, isn't it? They might be able to bounce back up. But seriously, look. Winning the Premier League with 41 goals in a season. But yet, when they got relegated last season, they scored 26. So 15 goals difference meant by winning the title and getting relegated, coming last in the Premier League. Two difference there. Uh, let's have a look at let's have a look at Hampton and Richmond domestic league. So they were in the Premier League. They were in the Premier League a few times. So that's the highest scoring season I've seen so far. Sixty one. 61 goals in the season. 62 there. That was in Division 3. Okay. Oh, there's some bits missing there. Not showing me that, are you, Championship Manager? Okay, Liverpool. It's got to be some... Uh, some wreck the world. Look, they... they, they They've been in the Premier League for a long time still. Why has that done that? Okay. Sorry, mouse has been a little bit funny there. But uh, <coughs> it does look like they've been in the Premier League for a lot long a lot longer as well. Oh look, they're missing that information. Must be just a little because because we're so far forward in the game, we might just can't hack it that much anymore. Man City, let's have a look at you, Man City. So, when was the last time you were in the Premier League? Twenty ten, twenty eleven season. So, you are looking at one hundred and forty years ago when Man City were last in the Premier League. One hundred and forty years ago. Oh, look, and back in 2005 6 season, they scored 100 goals in first division. And last season, they scored 38. Well, look, 65 here now. God. So let's look at the history of the first division. Who's won the first division recently? Harrow Borough. Chesterfield won it. Dagenham and Redbridge came runs up last season. Maxfield, Bolton, Bristol Rovers. Torquay, Torquay United's there. Uh, Barnet, Emley. Wow, the see, seeing these teams here, it just it's so nice because you get to see different teams winning the leagues now. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to have a look at the English Premier League. So let's see who's in there first of all. So we've got Barnet, Bolton, Bournemouth, Bristol Rovers, Bury, rest in peace, Bury, Crystal Palace, Dagenham and Redbridge are there, Dulwich obviously, Everton are still in the Premier League, and Leeds. Good God. Okay, so we've got Middlesbrough's there, Macclesfield, Reading, Sheffield United. Sutton United, Tottenham and Wolves are still in the Premier League and York City as well. 
Who do we want to have a look at? Let's have a look at Everton. Let's look through their history here. Go of Juan Pablo Angel. 2005-6 season scores 33 goals in a season. 31 of them being in the league. That is 147 years ago. And it's still not been broken. Okay, competitions. Domestics. Oh, they were out of the Premier League. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. God, they were out of the Premier League for a long time. I mean, let's have a look at their high scoring seasons. 21st in the first division, scoring 18 goals. Oh my days. That's bad. That's horrific. That is absolutely horrific. So they won two Premier League titles here, scoring 37 and 43. Oh my days. Okay, let's have a look at uh, Leeds, Leeds United. Let's have a look at you, shall we? Uh, so they've been in the Premier League, but they have bounced between Premier League and first and second division. Been three decades since they last won the English Premier League. They won it a few times though. Over the past 50 years, they have won the Premier League a few times. Okay, so. 71 nearly 100 years ago 90 years ago they scored 71 goals in the season 72 but that's not the Premier League though is it no so let's try and look for the Premier League okay so Premier League it's not I mean that's mid table 56 in the seasons mid table 29 is pfft. Sheffield United would like to score 29 goals in the Premier League season this season at the moment, but they're getting nowhere near that. But yet, 29, when did 27 here? I mean, and Leeds came 10th. Good God. Okay, let's uh, let's have a look at the history. Macclesfield Town were last year's champions of the English Premier League, followed by Bolton. Maxfield's done it a couple of times there. So is Wolves and Palace as well. Dover three years in a row becoming second. Saint Bristol Rovers doing it twice. Northwich Victoria. Max Macclesfield must be a meathead of a team. Thirty thousand capacity stadium. Let's have a look at Everton's. What's theirs? Forty five forty four thousand, sorry, I can't even read. 36,000 for Tottenham, 42,000 for Wolves. Liverpool winning the Premier League in 21 29, and again 21 24. Arsenal 40 years ago. Okay. Wow. Okay, we're going to have a look at the, uh, the Community Shield. Community Shield we'll have a look at. So, what's the records of it? What's the records? Arsenal, 23 times winner of the Community Shield. Uh, most goals in a match, four. Oh, that's, he's a manager now. Anders Sandqvist. Worst discipline, Mikel Silvestre, two yellows and a red card, an 05 06 season. McCauley, 15 years of age. Craig, 37 years of age. <sighs> Liverpool, Crew, Bury, West Brom. It's weird seeing these names. It really, really is. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at the Vange trophy. Let's have a look at the records. Biggest win, 7-0 in the second round. 
Most team goals, Northwich Victoria, 24. Most team, most team goals conceded in the same year. Northwich Victoria again with 16. But Colchester's won this title six times. They, they won it the most. Sorry, what? It just said, B. Ross, oldest player, 158 years of age. You what? 158 years of age. He's minus 73 right now. I've got to have a look at... I can't even look at his uh, playing career. Oh, that's a shame. I would love to have found out his playing career. All records. And he didn't even play for England. That's a bit of a shame, isn't it? All right, let's have a look at the Vans Trophy. So Rotherham's won it six times in a year. I was going to see if there was any more oldest players or that, but there wasn't. Okay. So you got Exeter winning 7-1 for high score in game 5-4. Uh, League Cup. Let's have a look at League Cup. So Arsenal, again, most times winning of this title is 11 times. 7 nil is the biggest victory. Most games won in a row, 12 by United. Another one, Ian Monk. He's still playing. Okay, so we can actually have a look and see. So this shows 51 years of playing, and he's only played 206 times. He's obviously a player that doesn't doesn't get any limelight whatsoever wow never come across any of these before and now we've come across two of them two of them Rochdale not even playing him either what's his wages like god imagine him, the bank account he's got for being playing for over 150 170 years of play 178 years of playing but he hasn't played in this in the League Cup for six years, yet he's still. He's okay, stats wise. That's, that's ridiculous, it really is. Minus 72 years. Let's have a look at the uh, past winners of the League Cup. So we've got Watford, Reading, Tottenham, Exeter City. Puh. Dirty, dirty Exeter City. Anyone who does support Exeter City, I apologise, because obviously Talk United and Exeter City don't get on. Margate, Margate winning this. Northwich, Victoria, Darlington, Oldham. Wow. That's, that's amazing. All right, let's have a look at the FA Cup. Arsenal again. Most time winners, 17 times. So C. McMahon, 78 years of age, playing for Lancaster. But I can't click on him, so he's gone, unfortunately. Chelsea went 27 games without losing in the FA Cup. That run ended in... Either 20-30 or 21-30. So Shepherd United, Aldershot, Reading. So another, another... I don't understand why my mouse does this sometimes. It's ridiculous. I'm done in Richmond. There's a lot of teams I'm surprised that's won this. Okay, so we've had a look through the English leagues. We're going to have a look through the Danish league, Danish cup. So any histories? There we go, records. So Lingby. 
at uh, Ling B. Simone. So uh, obviously, I know they're not your team, obviously, but uh, yeah. they're the most successful team in Danish Cup history. 42 years of age. Someone uh, has played for second division. Nastved. 8-2-7-5. Good God. Don't even say the... Because I need to go down further. 41. We'll have a look at the first division. Svenborg, 10 times winners. 42 years of age. We'll have a look at the Premier Division properly. B1909, 54 times winners, 40 years of age. So the previous winners, Copenhagen, Lingbe, OB, AB, Lillerod. God, Bromba. So yeah, so there is, uh, it does look like obviously, they are obviously the most successful team at the moment, but saying that, obviously not because AB won the title last season, and they're not top at the moment, but mind you, the season's only just started for them. So we're going to have a look at the French, uh, French League Champions Trophy. Bordeaux, the most successful team to win it. Okay, their League Cup. Was Quihol, nine time winners. The French Cup, Marseille, 11 times. This is nice, there's different teams all the time now um, that are most successful uh, in this. There's only, it seems to be English players who have this. Um, thing where they're playing until they're a lot older. Second division is that Beauvais? Nine time winners. We'll have a look at the uh, first league. The first division properly. But uh, Bordeaux are the most successful French team uh, today. So let's have a Look at the winners. Wash Quill. They're not doing so well at the moment, but Leon's in there, Bordeaux's in there. Rennes, obviously. Montpellier. And Orcs Air. Oh wow. Metz, Monaco, Lille in the second division. Saint Eight Etienne, Cannes. I have not found Paris Saint Germain yet. This is the lowest league. Marseille is here. Nice is here. There we go. PSG. They are still here in the bottom French league. So we're going to have a look in the German League now. So the German League Cup, Frankfurt obviously had won it recently. So Union Berlin, the most successful team to win the German League Cup. And their oldest player, Jens Lehmann, at the age of 38, playing in that prestigious cup tournament. There we go. I want to see how long it takes to see who's won this the most times and obviously Bayern Munich they're the most successful team winning the German Cup only 14 times though only 14 times so you think we've simulated this for 150 years and with 150 years they've only won it 14 times but then you've got to think the previous history of this tournament and combined with the 150 years we, we've gone through They've only won this tournament 14 times. Says it all, doesn't it, really? Second division. Bielfeld. Sorry. Six-time winners, the second division. 
And of course, Bayern Munich, the most successful team in the uh, German league, winning at 25 times, but they are no longer in the league. Bayern Munich are no longer in the league. Wow. Okay, so just realized Leverkusen's in the second division. So Colm still there. Duisburg, Frankfurt, Hoffenheim. Wow. Freiburg and Werder Bremen. The others I I don't know of. So wow, that's a that looks totally different now, doesn't it? Offenbach. Won it a few times. And Wattenschild. But they are in Division 2 now. Okay, so we'll have a look through the Dutch Dutch leagues. I see Feyenoord and Ajax are still in this. And it does look like it's still a few of the teams that's winning it all the time. But Ajax are the most successful. Winning it 49 times. What about the Dutch Cup? 50 times for Ajax. I can see a pattern emerging already. Ronald de Boer is still the youngest player. That's not even Ronald de Boer, is it? 75. God knows. First Division, AZ. I've won it 14 times. Are they still there in the Premier League now? Oh look, that's, that's an old name I've come across before. I know it's obviously uh, regen now, but <coughs> wow. All right, let's have a look at the Premier League. So Ajax is there still, obviously. Feyenoord is obviously. Herenveen still there. Can you see PSV, RKC, William the second, and Vitesse? They're all still in the Dutch Premier League. So we're going to have a look at the uh, Italian Italian leagues here. So records of C1 Super Cup history. Sisana winning it six times. What about the Super Cup Roma? 32 times. What about the C Cup Monza? Nine time winners. 43 years of age is the oldest one I've seen, I think, so far, apart from obviously the English ones. Italian Cup, Roma has won it 30 times, 43. Okay, so we're going to go to C1 stroke B. Foggia is the most successful team in this league. C1A, Atalanta. Oh, 44. 7165. Ah, that's a turn up for the for the uh, for the books. 87 goals conceded in the season. Dear God. Borussia Dortmund, 11 time winners. 90 goals there. God. Okay, so we'll have a look at Serie A properly. But Roma has won this league 35 times. AC Milan's in C1A. Good God. Roma, you're still in Serie A. Okay. So we still got teams like Bari, Chievo, Inter, Lazio, Napoli, Parma. Roma, obviously. Salernitana. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce it properly. Sampdoria. So we are missing some teams here. So we've got Fiorentina in the B, Serie A B, and Juventus as well. And Udinese and Vicenza are in here as well. C1A, we know we've got AC Milan in here. Atalanta, Bologna, Padova, San Marino. Okay, and lastly, C1D. Is there any teams in here? Calgary, Fidelis, Andrea, Lecce, Lecce Palermo. God, is there? So there's, an, there's a few teams in here as well. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the Portuguese League. 
So we know Sporting Lisbon are still in sports, uh, the Premier League, but Immortal have won the Super Cup recently. And Porto are still the most successful team in the Portuguese Super Cup. Portuguese Cup history, so it shows Benfica are the most successful team uh, in this tournament. 43 years old, Paulo Souza. Right, we'll have a look at the actual leagues itself. So, oh my good God, Sporting Club Camp. They won it 11 times. Okay, let's have a look at the Premier League. Oh, okay, I didn't expect to see Sporting Lisbon top there. But Sporting Lisbon are the most successful team in the Portuguese League, winning it 52 times. Let's see who's in there. So Benfica, Bervista. Okay, we're struggling here. Sporting Lisbon still in there. So they're the only three. So I've noticed, obviously, notably, Porto is not in this. Nivas Braga as well. Porto's in this league, yeah. Wow, okay. Okay, so we're going to have a look at Scotland. Scotland League. Challenge Cup records. So Falkirk, Mark Kerr's team, has won this Challenge Cup 14 times. So they are the most successful club in this tournament. League Cup, Celtic only 24 times. Okay, I'd expect a hell of a lot more than that, but uh, okay, 24 times. Scottish Cup, there we go. 47 times won by Celtic. 75. <laughs> lowest attendance, 75 for Huntley. Okay, so we'll have a look at the third division. So Dumbarton are the most successful team, <coughs> winning this league 10 times. Second division, Sterling's won it 11 times. Celtic, 99 goals conceded in the season in Division 2. God. Okay, Division 1. St. Johnston, 19 times. Okay, Premier League, yeah, we knew it was going to be one of the big, you know, the big two from Glasgow, obviously. But uh, Celtic are in Division 2 at the moment, and Rangers are as well. So who is the teams here? So we've got Aberdeen, Clyde, Stranra, Hearts, Kilmarnock, Livingston, St Mirren, Albion Rovers, Dundee and United, Queen of the South and Queen's Park. They are in the Scottish Leagues. OK, the last league that we're going to be looking at, guys, is the Spanish Leagues as well. So we know Barcelona. And Oviedo are still in the first division, but Barcelona only only won the league twenty times. They've only won the league twenty times. The oldest player is thirty six years old in the Super Cup. Okay, Spanish Cup thirty six times by Barcelona. I see the pattern already. Have a Sabiola still scored the most goals in one game for the Spanish Cup anyway. Second division, Valladolid, 10 times winner. <clears throat> Osasuna, most team points. And Espanyol, the most team goals. But Las Palmas B, 109. <clears throat> 109 goals conceded in a season. First division, okay, Real Madrid, weren't expecting Real Madrid to be there, I was expecting Barca, but <clears throat> Real Madrid 40 times winners, so we'll have a look at the uh, <clears throat> the leagues, so Alaves is there, Atletico Madrid and Barca, Celta's there, Espanyol, Las Palmas, Malaga, Mallorca, obviously Oviedo we know there, Racing Santander, Madrid, Sociedad, Sevilla, Gijon, Valencia, Valladolid, and Zaragoza. So we, with the Spanish First Division, the First Division actually looks near enough quite normal 
uh, barring a couple of teams that are obviously in the second division, like I would have thought Bill Bauer was in here. Obviously, I am wrong. So they're gone. Okay. So we've got uh, teams like Deportivo La Coruña, Levante, Tenerife, and Villarreal. They're still in these uh, in here. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the uh, Super Cup, European Super Cup. History records Ajax, the most successful team in the European Super Cup. Let's have a look. So, GBA, who are you? Belgian team. Dulwich, Macclesfield, Wolves. God, they've, they've all done it here. Clyde. Clyde were in the final. Hearts were in the final. Whoever this is. A Norwegian team. And they're rich as well. Okay, the Inter... Why did I pick the Inter Toto Cup? UEFA Cup. Let's look at the records. Liverpool, the most time that's won this uh, this tournament. Seven times. Seven times. We surprised past winners. So I've noticed you were here. So Russian, semi-professional, and they're rich as well. They're still semi-professional. Chesterfield, Clyde has done it. Club Bruges, Crystal Palace, Portsmouth, Osnabrück from Bell, Germany. Okay. Obviously, we're going to look at the Champions League. Already, I see this team. Who are they? Turkish. They won the they won the Champions League last season with two real players. The rest are greyed out. But AC Milan have won this. They've won the Champions League the most out of any other team, fifteen times. Chelsea beat IFK Gothenburg eight nil. So yeah, so. He thought 41 years of age is the oldest played in the Champions League. But uh, Rapid Vienna. They got here as well. Dinamo Bucharest. Wow. Okay, we're going to have a look at the uh, international. International, come on. Oh, we didn't see the World Club Cup. Inter-American Cup. Most time winners, Vasco da Gama, 37 times. Okay, World Club Cup, Intercontinental Cup. Boca Juniors, 24 time winners. Okay, lastly, the FIFA World Club Cup. Nick Axel won it recently. But the most time winners are Chelsea with three times. And the oldest player is Jay O'Brien. Wow, look at his stats. Look at his stats. And he's still playing. Wow. Let's see your playing career. So this is... Spanning from 2029-30 season all the way to 2092-93 season. And oh, I wish I had the American League set up because I don't know if it would say if he is the longest, longest serving player. Most league, most league appearances, Richie Williams. And no, so it's not going to show John O'Brien. Oh, that, he looks like a good player as well and a good staff member. So that's three that we found so far. But who is it? Yes, but Chelsea. They won the uh, they won the World Club Cup uh, more than any other team what about the olympics they're going to start the olympics shortly obviously but holland have won the olympics the most out of any other 
team um, European Championships France has just won it so most time winners Italy seven times so England last won it in 2096 and we haven't even come second in a long time either but Austria's won it Slovakia have won it Georgia have won it absolutely crazy okay let's look at the world cup italy most time winners once again with eight but we'll have a look through the winners here so norway are the latest world cup winners on championship manager 0102 in 2150 season senegal Senegal and Switzerland have won it. Uruguay coming close three years, three times in a row. We were England were runners up in 2146. I'm not waiting that long for us to get somewhere in this tournament. Romania, excuse me, um, Scotland, they were third. Colombia, Northern Ireland were third. Good God. Uh, transfers. Okay, so all transfers. We'll have a see. So that's 21.52 for the year. Okay, so so far, £10.5 million pounds is the most expensive. Now, £19 million, 12. Let's see if there's any outrageous bids. Uh, 16 three quarters is the highest so far 23 million 23 million is the highest so far and we've only gone back 25 years 21 million 36 Antonio Fernando Penhero, thirty-six million pounds, and I did see one for the year after, year before. Sorry, thirty and a half million pounds, thirty-five and a half million. So this guy went from Inter to Arsenal, then Arsenal to Celta Vigo, thirty million there. So it looks like Pinheiro is probably holding on to the highest transfer. No! Romeo van der Heijen. £42 million. £42 million. That's surely going to be the highest transfer fee paid for a player's, player's services here. And we've gone back to 2074. Don't know how much. £44.5 million. Remco Davids, 41 million. Alain Traore. We've nearly gone back 100 years. And it looks like it's going to be the 44.5 million. Yep. <coughs> God, so if we... Can I see players? Yes, I can. I need to see. Oh, I don't want it to be filtered. Player search. So 16 is the youngest. 39 is the oldest, apparently. It's not showing the other players. God, okay. So the manager stats. So that's just England. So we want it to be all nations on um, 565th without even playing a game so Alan Barnes look at how is he world class and his stats are horrific Darren Donnelly and your stats are shocking as well Wayne Lodge shocking god right, one thing I did forget to check We'll get rid of that because obviously we can't see 
any old, old, old players. So the most expensive player at the moment, Frank van der Horst, is the most expensive player on the game today, valued at £19.75 million. Pounds. Philippe Silvestre. Well, who's got the most international caps then? 36, Guillermo Aspria. 136 caps. Who's hold the most caps for England at the moment? No one on that section. No one on that section. If I run through that correctly, he's got the most caps for England so far today. Who scored the most goals for their country? Marco Elzinga. 288 goals for his, for his club career. Right, I want to see whether or not if we can see if we can find Maxim Zygalko or have you and what have you. But just before we do so, the FIFA World Rankings are in the Congo. <coughs> the Congo, sorry. They are 13th. Oh my days, look at the teams that are in there. Botswana, Burkina, Burkina, Burkina Faso. Really? So let's see who's on page one. Brazil, Norway, France, Nigeria, Holland, Sweden, Argentina, Yugoslavia. And so far, Cameroon. So far. Australia, I saw then. Turkey. So far, there's no other big nations in this. Why not? England, 67th. <coughs> Romania, 68th. Portugal, 79. Italy, 90. That's just redonkulous, isn't it? Scotland. Poland's down here. Germany, 139. Yeah, not happening, is it? Okay, so we'll see. We'll see whether or not if we can find Maxime Sai Galco. Eighteen and thirty seven there. B squad. Okay, they've got a B squad, so Sokol. I dunno. Fourteen and forty five playing in not so good league. No, I don't think it'll be you. Seven and fifty one, definitely not you. Eleven and thirty eight with ten ten assists. Yeah, that could be, could be. Not a guarantee, obviously. Okay, the under 21s, well, not even bother looking at it, is there? England, what's your team looking like? <sighs> Simon Gallagher. Tom Hudson, he looks like a cracking player. Cracking player. Jimmy Dunn, our main striker, and you scored one goal in 27 for England. Not good. Justin Mitchell, nine caps but no goals for England. Oh, his stats record is shocking as well. More about the European UEFA coefficients. So England do get eight teams going through in Europe. Austria gets nine. 
They get two in the Intertoto Cup. God almighty. <clears throat> All right, guys, guys. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It has been a massive eye opener of an experience seeing all those teams in in the leagues especially in the english league it's so wide open it's not true but um but looking through some of the history obviously seeing some of these old players i could see that we've got a few of them in this game save as well which uh is quite funny isn't it really but uh but apart from that guys if you do like this video please make sure that you do smash like on the video and uh, if you are new to our channel, please make sure you do subscribe to our channel by hitting the blue box at the bottom of this video. And of course, make sure you hit that notification bell as well. So you know when the next video has been uploaded on our channel. Well, that's from that's all from myself now, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you at our next video here at TGR. That's Game and Robbo. Till the next time, guys.